Is it 11.40 at night and I'm only deciding to sit down and film a video now? Yeah. Yeah, it is. What is up everybody? My name is Chelsea B and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is a new month. It is finally August and honestly, I don't know where half the year went, but it went. I mean, on one hand, we've been stuck at home and it seemed to go awfully and painfully slow. But on the other hand, it's August. And as you may have noticed, I haven't been on my channel for like a week again, possibly two weeks. Why? I'm inconsistent. Yeah, let's just throw a reference back to that one. Anyways, since it's now August, I thought I would show you all of the products, random thingamabobs that I've been enjoying throughout the month of July and possibly beforehand, but I'm not really sure. With that, let's get into today's video. All right, we're gonna start with the beauty favorites. The first item of my beauty favorites is this wet brush right here. It's not wet, it's a dry brush, but it's called the wet brush. Um, it has these lovely thin bristles right here that are easy to detangle knots from your hair. So I use it to not only brush my actual hair, as well as that I use it for brushing knots out of my wigs to make sure that they stay in a good condition. Because for those of you who don't know, I love wigs. I have too many. So if you want to see a wig collection on my channel, give this video a big thumbs up. If you have wigs and want to keep them in a good condition or just want to prevent your hair from breakage, I suggest this brush. I got it from cosmeticcapital.com.au for $14.95, I think. That was the price. Alright, my next beauty favourite is actually makeup. It is the Rimmel London Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder. It's just in the shade Transparent. I just have been recently getting back into setting under my eyes with powder, like baking, I guess, with a brush. I just like pat it on and leave it there. And it really just makes sure that there's no like creasing or anything at all. I use it like on these little lines too. And it I don't know, it's just a generally good powder and I definitely recommend buying it if you can get it. I use it to set the rest of my face too, so good powder, perfect for everyday makeup use. Buy yours now, not sponsored. The third and final beauty favourite for the month of July that I will be mentioning is the Jouer Blush Duo in the shade Rose Gold. I first brought this product onto my channel through the video where my dog picks my makeup. I'll link that video down below. I bought this blush palette at Mecca. Maxima, which is an Australian makeup retailer. I bought it mainly for this shade, but I've also really been enjoying this shade. I'm wearing it actually right now. It's just a nice glow and it's shimmery and it's beautiful. And it comes with a mirror. It's perfect for on-the-go use. I just love this palette it, and the, the packaging is beautiful and the product is beautiful as you can see. I've recently just been loving blush and I can't get enough of this palette. I cannot recommend it enough. It was 48 Australian dollars at Mecca, but definitely worth it. Moving along to the TV show and music category, starting with TV. I have just recently finished The Vampire Diaries, the whole series, the whole shebang. My sister Alicia and I started watching The Vampire Diaries back in March, back when in Australia this whole isolation period started. And now that we're back in isolation, we decided to finish the whole show. It's just such a good show. I love the plot. And by the plot, I mean all the hot men that appear in the show. Yes. 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 It actually was a really good storyline, and I really liked the way that they wrapped up the show. I thought it was really bittersweet and beautiful, so. Yeah. And I love Damon Salvatore. Yes. And now we're going to watch the originals and legacies. And I'm very excited to fall in love with Klaus and Elijah again. Yes. Another favourite TV show of mine that I had been binge watching, or re-watching should I say, all of July was iCarly. I just love that show, like, I don't know, I could just sit there and watch the whole series again and again for hours and hours on repeat. I just love it. I don't know why. It's just good, entertaining content and it's super funny and that's all I can ask for in a TV show. As for my favourite music in July, I definitely have been listening 
on repeat to Melanie Martinez, just like all of her music, honestly. It's so good, it's so catchy, and there's just something about the vibe of it, like lots of xylophone. I really like the way her music portrays a character and a story as well. She's a really good storyteller, and she's a really creative artist as well, making a whole film for her album, which is incredible. In July as well, not just because of the One Direction 10 year anniversary, but before that as well, I had been listening to so much One Direction and it's the best decision I've made in a long time. But honestly, One Direction's music is just so catchy and fun and I just can't get enough of it. I've also been listening to Harry's album Fine Line, which I love as well. So yeah, oh my god. And, oh my god, how could I forget? So, speaking of the Vampire Diaries as well, Kat Graham, who plays Bonnie Bennett in the Vampire Diaries, has a whole music career, and her music is amazing. I honestly wish she would release another album right now, because her music is so good. Her song Power, Sometimes, Heart Killer, just like, I wish I had known about this music at the time so I could fangirl over it then, instead of now when... I don't know if she'll be releasing any more music, but I really hope you do, so please, Kat Graham, release a new album. When's the drop? Now onto the final category, which is just random favourites. So you're writing in pen, right? And let's say you make a grammar mistake, and then all of a sudden you say, Oh no, I'm gonna have to use whiteout, and you know that's gonna bring a weird texture to my paper when I write over the top of it, right? Well, no longer. Because with these bad boys, you can make all the grammar mistakes you've ever wanted to in your life. Because you can just use this end right here to go poof. Erasable pens. Hmm, I'm gonna have to pick all those up now. But they're amazing. For those of you who don't know, I do make my own music. And I usually do it using this iRigs keys little machine thing. And I plug it into my computer and I create la musica. Just like an endless amount of possibilities with this thing. You can use this little pad for the drums. You can even use these for the drums to be honest. And like any instrument that comes on either GarageBand or Logic Pro, which is the one that I use currently, you can create any instrument with this. And any melody, pitch, volume, tempo you want. And you can also move octaves up so it can sound higher in pitch or lower in pitch. And you can also go wee 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 with that button. So that's fun. I still haven't worked out what this these buttons do, but I'm sure it's something very important that I will maybe never work out, but maybe one day will. Yeah, I've just been enjoying in July making lots of new music. I made the little song that I premiered on my channel a few weeks ago called I'm Inconsistent with this device. So, thanks man. Views. Another thing I've been trying to do as well is get into journaling. So just literally grabbing a notebook, this one because I love Riverdale, even though it hasn't been on for a while, but that's not their fault. I take some journal prompts that I find on Pinterest or whatnot and just write things about how I'm feeling, what I want to do with my life, and yes. Yeah, pretty much it. Another thing I want to give a shout out to, which is not sponsored, um, is balancethroughsimplicity.com. All you have to do is enter in your email. You can get all these cool PDF downloads, like a personal growth challenge workbook where you fill in like little things over 13 days to just, you know, grow personally as a person. <laughs> the lady who runs it, her name's Antonia, and she just has everything you could possibly need to get better. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and leave in the comments below any videos you want to see on my channel because, believe me, I'm lacking ideas. And don't you forget to click subscribe because I upload brand new videos every single week on a Saturday. Most weeks. Until next time, stay awesome and I love you all.